Thank you so much, guys. Drew, oh my goodness, what a fight that was. It feels like when Drew Dober fights, you are going to get fireworks. Is that how you feel when you make your walk to the Octagon? I mean, I love engaging in brutal festivities in front of an audience. And uh, man, I mean, I love bringing in that kind of heart and determination and every time in the ring. You know, this, this career has a shelf life and I want to make sure each moment is memorable. Oh my God, well, it certainly was. I know that you said this week you wanted to make it a, a highlight win and that you had a lot of highlights in that fight. Tell me about the back and forth and how you felt like the fight was going prior to landing that beautiful body shot. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Rafael Alves is such a fun fighter. His walkout, I had to like follow that up, so it was disappointing. But man, what a tough guy! And it was a lot of fun being in there with him. He was really hard to hit, and so I eventually started noticing that his body started getting open. Um, and so I eventually found him in the third. And so luckily, because the dude's tough as nails. Yeah, you have had nothing but tough fights and fun fights, Drew. You walked over here with a little bit of a limp, obviously some cuts here. Physically, how are you feeling? And what do you think the timeline will be before you can jump back into training? I mean, adrenaline's great and so I don't feel too much right now, but we'll see you tomorrow. But uh, I, I think I want to get back in November. So if any lightweight wants to be available in November, we can get in there and do it. Uh, I hate sitting around waiting, so the sooner the better. It seems like with every fight, your skill set just continues to grow. What is the secret there in Colorado that has you able to not just perform and have these entertaining bouts, but also do so with a growing skill set? You know, not only do we have a bunch of killers out there, uh, some very talented coaches with Team Elevation, but it's the intelligent and diligence of our technique and just constantly practicing on how to improve ourselves each and every day. And it's not just a meat factory out there. We, we care about each other. We don't just beat each other up. So as a team, we try to grow and help each other. Yeah, well, it certainly uh, shows the proof is in the pudding there, Drew. You mentioned November, but why that date? And is there, there's got to be somebody at the top of your mind. I know you. I know that there's somebody you're looking to fight. No, I'm trying to celebrate Christmas, and so <laughs> we got to fight before <laughs> then. Uh, but, man, I'd love that fight with Bobby Green. Uh, man, Jim L Miller looked incredible. Uh, man, I, I'd, I'd pull out the list, but the list would touch the floor. I love to fight all the lightweights, and uh, I'm trying to get my way back to the top and, and fight the elites up there. Excellent. Well, we would look forward to any of those matchups, certainly. But, Drew, whoever you compete against, I know it will be a great fight. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.